All right, I want to do a, a brief, a quick training on how to look good and sound good on Zoom, how to give you a few pointers on how to adjust your audio and video settings, as well as some gear that will help you to produce better Zoom meetings and videos and whatever else you or webinars, whatever else you're working with Zoom. I get a, I'm getting a lot of requests and questions about how to use Zoom and from the basic level to the higher level. So I figured I would share what I know and give some basic stuff that everybody can use. So this is going to be a three part video. Uh, I got three sections that I'm going to cover and I'm just going to break them up into each individual videos to keep the videos right at three to four minutes, uh, give or take or more. So that way you can consume them quickly and move on. All right. So the three sections are going to be some adjustments to making your zoom general settings. And, and then the second session will be some adjustments to make when you first get on zoom with the meeting or webinar, just some in meeting, uh, in meeting checklist for you to go through. And then last, I'm going to cover audio and video gear that will help to improve your sound quality without breaking the bank. So these are um, very inexpensive, affordable pieces of equipment, gear that you can use that I personally use myself. All right. So first thing, Zoom general settings. All right. So let me go right here. I'm actually in my Zoom account already. Um, in your Zoom account, find where your settings are. It may look a little different than mine based on what account type of account you have. But click that settings button bring that up um, may look again a little different but you should have at least three sections or tabs with one for meeting one for recording and one for telephone and you should also have some subsections um, as you can see right here schedule meeting in meeting basic in meeting advanced email notification and other we are going to first go to the in meeting advanced subsection all right so you can see that title right there so you know what to look for so what we're looking for is the group HD setting. So here's the group HD setting right here. Uh, mine is already enabled. You do want to enable group HD. All right, so HD is going to improve the video quality for everybody. So not just you, but any of your meeting guests or people that appear on your Zooms, it will also allow you to get HD video for them. Now, enabling this will take up more bandwidth, so be wary of that. And just kind of recognize that, okay, um, sometimes you may have to make a choice. Like, okay, if, if I have low bandwidth already, this might not be your option. But most of us should have enough bandwidth where there should, this should not be a problem. So enable the group HD. All right. And um, next, scroll back up to the top. We're going to go to the recording tab. Zoom allows us to record our videos and gives us two options to do a local recording on your actual um, desktop, Mac, uh, laptop, whatever you're using, or you can do a cloud recording to Zoom's cloud and have those um, find later on. All right. Of the two, uh, I recommend doing a local recording. And the reason why I recommend doing a local recording is because if you are doing videos that you're recording, I'm assuming you want to play them back or share them at some point. So a local recording will give you a higher quality playback on your recording. It will be less choppy than if you do a, um, a, a cloud recording all right so down here also in addition to that so you don't forget you can check this automatic recording button and then choose local or cloud i choose local all right i think that is it for that setting right there i'll actually cover um yeah we'll, we'll go to the next video so we'll we will start a new video and go from there